In September 2011, 39 Aussies set off for the journey of a lifetime. Children's Choir presents Raise Your Hands and Sing with One Voice, a concert to take place on the 25th of September 2011 at Bulangi Gardens. Gates open at 2 p.m. and close at 6 p.m. Join Kabaka Ronald Mundam to be the second as he spends an evening with the orphaned and vulnerable children while enjoying music by the African Children's Choir. Wilson Bugembe. 35 internationally acclaimed voices of choir from Australia and other upcoming musicians, Jamaima Kisa and Forty Bar. One voice and many more. Proceeds from this event will go to programs supporting orphaned and vulnerable children. Come ready to enjoy world-class music. My joy and privilege to work with Marsha and the amazing singers from all around this country um, singing, making music and we're now currently here in Uganda in this magnificent setting with the beautiful people of this country. standing before me even now and around me I just look at them daily um, tears come to my eyes I think this was a dream that came about from a passion of people coming together with music in Australia and they're here now in Uganda sharing that music too the next two weeks musically, I'm hoping we can give the Ugandan audiences the best performance that they deserve. And the singers here have been working tirelessly for numerous months and as we are currently here, we've been working for hours and hours. All the children join together, raise your hands and fire. How thrilled we are! A rehearsal with Barbara herself. Tighten up. Is the choreo the movement? Is it okay? I love it. Yes, yeah. I do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that sounds so beautiful. I've not heard you guys do it. Thank you for coming. 
And yes, while we're there, why not another rehearsal? And this is what we've been waiting for. And no, this clip is not in fast motion. And Scott would pop in from time to time to have a play. Despite all outward appearances, he really did enjoy himself. And finally, the big day arrives. Yeah. <laughs> As we waited, we had no idea of what was to come. The first service is a bit cool, this service is crazy.
Lizerten. Thank you for coming. And who would have dreamt an Aboriginal language song being sung in the middle of Uganda? And Wilson pulls Richard out for a solo. Practice Harley's gift to the African Children's Choir, River of Dreams. Are you ready? Yes. Do exactly what Harley says you do, okay? Yeah. How many know English? Okay, good. Harley, you can talk in English. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. 
Verdina, Irica. Pasta? Yes! Smile. And then here we go. People told me that we were coming to your beautiful kingdom of Uganda to sing for you. No, you're going to sing for us. We get to share music. Uganda, Australia, cool.
come to Uganda to sing with you, to laugh with you, to work alongside you. Our hope was that we could make a small difference to the quality of life to some of the vulnerable children in your community. We arrived in beautiful Uganda seven days ago. Your welcome has been overwhelming. It is our deep, deep pleasure to meet each and every one of you. You have touched our hearts and will remain in our memories forever. We are here today to share with you a little bit about our country, Australia. Australia has many different people. We have the first Australians who have lived in our country for over 60,000 years. We have the first white people who settled in Australia in 1788. We have people born in different countries who have moved to Australia to make Australia their home. And we have the descendants of people born in different countries who have moved to Australia to make it their home. We are one, but we are many.
dimples and say to make the Queen laugh so. I love you, Africa. 